What's up dudes? So today, we're talking about hats. Not because uh, anyone really wants to talk about hats, but at the end of the day they get super nasty and dirty and if you don't want to hear about how dirty and nasty your hat looks because it has sweat rings in it, it starts to yellow. This one in particular yellows because it's white. But I like to wear it when I'm working outside and sometimes when I work outside or do stuff, you start to sweat. Sweat makes yellow rings. I want to get those out. And what I've learned is that this really works well for it. So laundry stain remover. Um, we've removed a lot of things with this. Uh, ketchup, wine, uh, it really does work extremely well. So um, it says on it, it removes wine, grass, blood, okay, well, grease, dirt. So it does remove a lot of that. We've done that for sweatshirts, uh, t-shirts, jeans, things like that. So if you get any grease stains on your jeans, uh, give this a shot as well. So, um, but let me show you what we're gonna do to actually make your hat look new again. And uh, a lot of people throw these in washing machines, but the problem that you get when you throw them in washing machines is they get crushed down. And when they do that, it ends up ruining or your, your brim ends up being like this. So you look kind of like a, a goof. And so then you pretty much just ruin your hat. This is all hand cleaning it. So you're gonna use this to hand clean it. You're gonna use a toothbrush just to scrub a little bit. Make sure it's a soft bristle toothbrush. Don't scrub super hard to make it, you know, fray your hat and things like that. And then, Basically, you can use a towel to do this or you can use a bowl, but really you wanna keep the form of your hat. So we're gonna actually clean it and then we're gonna use one of my wife's mixing bowls. It happens to be pretty close to the size of my head. I don't know. So here we go. Gonna use rescue, laundry. So I'm gonna do the outside and I'm soaking it pretty good because it's pretty nasty. And this does have a, it has a uh, scent to it. So. You know, it has a little bit of a scent to it, so if you are very sensitive to scents, um, but I will tell you that my hat smells a lot nastier than what this does. So, I'm gonna get the brim really good, because the brim's got a little bit of yellowing on it too. And like I said, this is a white hat, so if it doesn't, if you can clean a white hat with this, you can clean any other color, because the white's really gonna show the yellow staining inside, so. So now that I really got everything sprayed in there really good, using the Tide Rescue, I'm just gonna use my little toothbrush here and just work it in. So I'm gonna work it into all the spots and things like that. And it doesn't really foam up. It's not really what it does. But you can see it gets a little bit white when you're doing it, but you're just gonna kinda go over the whole hat. See, it gets a little bit of white. You can see it on my hand a little bit. Okay, so I gave it a really good scrub and now I'm just gonna Spray a little bit more on there, the bad spots and the outside. Then I'm gonna leave it sit for about five to 10 minutes because that's what the Tide Rescue stuff says to do. And the outside's looking like it's coming really clean. The inside's got a few extra stains in it, so that's why I'm giving it a little bit of extra time to sit. Okay, so the Tide Rescue looks like it's working really well, but this hat, this hat's pretty filthy. So what we're gonna do is give it a little bit of extra soak. And uh, this is not sponsored by Tide, it just happens to be that we like Tide Sport for our, for our laundry detergent. I'm just gonna put a little bit, just a little bit in the bottom of this and, and fill it with hot water just to let that soak a little bit longer. There we go, just a little bit. And let it soak in, uh, not blazing hot water, just, just some warm water. All right, so we got it in some pretty warm water. It's not blazing hot, we don't wanna shrink it or do anything crazy to it. But we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that hat soak in there. We're gonna make sure it's completely submerged. You know, I flipped it upside down to get water on the inside of it, completely submerged. I might have to do a couple hats because uh, my wife pointed out that a couple of them are nasty. So we're gonna let this soak and then uh, we'll come back and we'll show you how it worked. Okay guys, so the extra soaked worked great. You can see the hat is bright white again. All the little stains that you saw on the rim of it and at the front of it are all gone. The inside looks super clean, smells clean. So we're gonna give it a rinse. We're gonna put it over our bowl. And I put a towel under it because obviously, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wring it because obviously you're gonna get wrinkles in it. So I'm just gonna give it a good rinse to get some of the detergent and uh, the stain remover out of it. So get as much of that out of it as I can. So give it a good rinse. I'm just using some cold water on it to rinse it out. Yeah, you can see, look at how you can even see all the stains from the outside are perfectly removed. This hat's ready for the 
it's prime time as soon as it dries, so I'm just going to let that just kind of give it kind of a little bit of a, just a little squeeze at the bottom and just get some of the excess water, give it a kind of a shake. Don't make too big of a mess, you'll get in trouble. And you can see it's pretty wet yet, but I'm just going to stretch over the bowl, that'll help keep its form. You can see that bowl works perfect. You can, if you have hat, you know, the hat ones that you can use as well, you have plastic hat ones, but you can see it's going to get water there, so I put a towel under it, so you're not going to get water running on your floor. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. That's how you clean those dirty hats, get those sweat rings out of it, and that sort of thing. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Super thanks is always welcome, and uh, you'll also enjoy that it doesn't smell anymore. So that's it. Thanks.